Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you seven amazing Samsung Galaxy tricks that you probably didn't even know about. So these hidden features can help you clean your phone, customize your screen, lock your device in style, and even shoot cinematic quality 4K videos in 120 frames per second. So if you're rocking the Galaxy device, whether it's the S25, Z Fold, or the A series, make sure to watch till the end because these tips are a total game changer. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this with your Samsung squad, and comment your favorite trick below. So let's set a goal of 500 likes on this video. I know you all can do it. Now let's jump in. So feature number one is where you can delete duplicate files in My Files app. So we all know how fast our phone storage fills up with screenshots, photos, and videos, especially with high quality camera these days. But did you know your Galaxy has a built-in cleaner? So inside My Files app, Samsung offers a duplicate file section under Analyze Storage, and this tool automatically scans your entire phone for duplicate images, videos, audio, or documents. It neatly organizes them so you can preview and delete extra copies safely without touching your original. So let me show you how to find this. So we'll go ahead and open up My Files. Now here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Manage Storage. So here you'll be able to see your internal storage, duplicate files, large files, and then there are some suggestions which are given to you. You have the recycle bin and unused apps. However, today we're interested in the duplicate files. So we'll go ahead and tap on duplicate files. And these are all the duplicate files it has found on my phone. So as you can see, it has found a lot of installation files for Snapchat, Samsung, Twitter, Spotify, and all these. So go ahead and review these and go ahead and select the items which you wanna delete. And then go ahead and tap on delete. So now all the duplicate files will be removed. As you can see, it's found some more. So I'll go ahead and delete them as well. And there you go. So no more duplicate files are on my Samsung Galaxy device. So this saves massive storage space by clearing redundant files. It improves phone performance and speeds of the device. It's a built-in and secure, so no need to install any third-party apps. And it organizes your gallery for a cleaner and a faster browsing experience. And also just remember, this is one tap cleanup that keeps your Galaxy running smoothly. Feature number two is where you have the new note cover on Samsung Notes. Samsung Notes just keeps getting better. The latest update adds a new note cover feature, letting you design beautiful covers for each note. So you can complete with the color option, thumbnails and titles. So instead of a plain list of notes, you can now have vibrant personalized covers and make your notes look like an actual digital notebook collection. So let me show you how to do this. Go ahead and open up Notes. Now, as you can see, I've already integrated into my notes. There are two ways of making notes. So the first one is by creating an AI note. So if you go ahead and select one of the notes, tap on more, and here you can go ahead and tap on generate cover. So this will basically let AI generate the cover for you. Now, if you don't like what you're seeing here, you can press cancel, go ahead and tap on the note itself, then tap on the three dots, and then go ahead and tap on edit cover. Now here, you'll be able to choose all these different covers. So you have a pattern, you have illustration, or if you just want a text, like a cover, let me the title, you can go ahead and add that as well. So go ahead and choose what you like. I like the illustration, I'll choose one of these nature photo, and then I'll go and press back, and press back again. So now, as you can see, that cover has been set for my notes. So this visually organizes your notes by theme or project. It boosts productivity by helping you identify notes quickly. And this is perfect for students, professional and digital planners. So this makes your notes app look aesthetic and professional. Feature number three is where you can create a 3D parallax wallpaper for home and lock screen. So if you love customizing your Galaxy, you probably love this. There's a 3D parallax wallpaper effects adds a depth and movement to your wallpaper. So when you tilt your phone, the wallpaper moves slightly, creating a cool 3D illusion. So you can enable this by using the motion effect in wallpaper settings or apps like Theme Park or the Good Locks Wonderland module. Today we'll use the Good Locks Wonderland module and I'll show you how to do this. So here, this is a wallpaper which I've downloaded on my phone and we're gonna go ahead and use the parallax effect on this wallpaper. So the first thing which we need to do is we need two pictures. We need one with just the runway and the another one just the car on its own. So here I'll go ahead and use Galaxy AI. We'll go ahead and remove this car and we'll tap on generate. And now we'll go ahead and save it a copy. Now next we'll go back to that car picture again and we'll go ahead and select only the car and we'll go ahead and tap on save as an image. So now we have two images. So now we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. 
in the good luck app scroll down and find wonderland module go ahead and tap on create your own moving wallpaper tap on new go ahead and choose gallery and we'll go ahead and choose that picture first next we'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign here at the bottom right and we'll go ahead and choose an image and we'll go ahead and choose from our gallery again we just want the car itself go ahead and increase this now go ahead and choose the background, tap on image settings, and you want to go ahead and enable the motion effect. Tap preview, and now when you go ahead and move this, you'll see some movements. Go ahead and choose the car and do image setting. Go ahead and enable the apply individual motion effect. Now when you go ahead and move it, so as you can see, this is giving a 3D effect. So now once you're happy with that, go ahead and tap on save at the top right, then tap on save. And now go ahead and set this as a wallpaper for our lock screen and home screen. Now that's done, press home. And now, as you can see, you have a 3D moving wallpaper on your home screen. If I go ahead and lock my screen, you see that same wallpaper on our lock screen. So when I move this for left and right, you'll see that the car is actually moving, giving a 3D effect. So this gives your home screen a futuristic 3D vibe. You can personalize your phone beyond standard static wallpapers. It works beautifully with your display, deep blackens and white color pops out. Your dynamic motion reacts to how you hold your device. So if you move it forward, move it backward, move it left, or move it right, the image will basically react to that. It adds a fun and a premium aesthetic that makes your Galaxy stand out. Feature number four is where you can integrate glass widgets and icons on your Samsung Galaxy device. So if you're into customization, the glass aesthetic is a new trend for Galaxy users. So you can use the good luck module like theme park or custom launcher packs, where it will give you the icons. And you can use the glass widget app to give your widget a semi-transparent frost glass look like these. So as you can see, for my icons, I've used good luck. However, for my widgets, I've used an app called the glass widget. So this not only looks elegant, but also blends beautifully with minimal or gradient wallpapers. So let me show you how to do this. So first I'll go ahead and show you how to transform your icons to glass look like this. Then I'll show you how to get these widgets in the glass form. So to get the glass look icons on your Samsung Galaxy device, you wanna go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Theme Park. Now you wanna go ahead and find Icons. Tap on Create New. And here, tap on Effects at the bottom and then tap on glass. Now you wanna go ahead and configure the edge, lighting, and the angle. So go ahead and play around with these. You can also play around with the glass colors if you like different glass colors. Go ahead and play around with the glow. Go ahead and choose your shape. And now once you're happy, tap on save here at the top right, and then go ahead and give this a name. I've already created mine, so this is one of my glass effects for my icons. So now once you have created it, you'll get this here, tap on it, and then tap on apply. So now apply the glass pack icons to your screen. So as you can see, all my icons are now glass look. Now to get the glass widget, you need to go ahead and open up your Play Store, go ahead and search for an app called Glass Widget. So this is the app which you need. It is a paid app, so it'll be about, I think one or two pound. So go ahead and purchase that, and then go ahead and open it. Now in this glass widget, you get access to all the apps widgets, battery widgets, custom app widgets, calendar widgets, analog clock widgets, the digital clock, you've got compass, contacts, earbuds, a watch, the folders, you can have games, AI shortcuts, music, and there's so many things that you can play around with. Plus on top of that, you have access to wallpapers. So you can get different wallpapers as well from this app itself. If I go back to widget, if I want to go ahead and add a certain widget, so for example, this one here, I can go ahead and tap on add, and this will be added to my home screen. There you go. So as you can see, this gives a sleek and a modern look that matches your Galaxy One UI design. It improves visibility while keeping the screen clean and minimalistic. It works with dynamic color themes for perfect visual harmony. It makes your home screen unique and aesthetic, and you can even mix glass icons with parallax wallpapers for a next level setup. Feature number five is where you can shake to lock your screen. 
So here's something straight out of a spy movie. So with an app, you can lock your device instantly just by shaking it. So if someone snatches your phone or tries to grab it, the motion automatic triggers a lock, protecting your data immediately, or you can go ahead and just use it to shake to lock your phone. So you can enable this through an app called the private lock and basically it enables through motion and gesture settings or by using a certain security automation app that integrates with Samsung sensors. So let me show you how to get this. So you need to go ahead and install an app called Private Lock. I've left a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and download this. It's an APK which you downloaded on your Samsung device. Now go ahead and open it. Now here you need to go ahead and set the sensitivity for this. So I'll set it to about three. And now we'll go ahead and tap on start at the top. So now when I go ahead and shake it, as you can see, it locks it. Let's try it again. So this way you have instant privacy protection without pressing any buttons. It automatically locks if it gets stolen or grabbed suddenly. And this adds extra layer of security for your personal data. So this is hands-free fast and it's perfect for emergency. So feature number six is where you can shoot 4K in 120 frames per second. So Samsung flagship cameras are beast. And if you want truly cinematic footage, you can shoot in 4K 120 frames per second. So as you can see, when you go ahead and open up camera, and when I go into the video mode, here at the top, you'll see 8K Ultra HD, which is 4K. And here in Ultra HD, you only have 30 and you have 60 frames per second. So you might be wondering, how do I shoot 120 frames per second? So let me show you how to get this. So in order to shoot 120 frames per second, you wanna go ahead and tap on more, tap on pro video. And now from here, you wanna go ahead and choose UHD at the top and then choose 120 frames per second. So this setting captures ultra smooth high frame rates video, perfect for slow motion edits or professional grade reels. You get cinematic slow motion quality for your videos, sharper motion details, ideal for sports or action shots. And you have a professional level recording right from your phone. So as you can see, this is perfect for content creators, reloggers and filmmakers. Basically it maintains excellent color and clarity, even in motion. And lastly, feature number seven is your iPhone style keyboard clicks on Samsung. So if you like soft, crisp, clicks sound of the iPhone keyboard, you can recreate it on your Samsung Galaxy device. So let me show you an example. So here we'll go ahead and open up the message app. And here, when I go ahead and tap anywhere, so let me show you how to turn on these keyboard clicks. So in order to do this, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find sound and vibrations, then go ahead and find system sound. And now from here, you wanna find Samsung keyboard. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So just remember, this will only work on Samsung keyboard. For those of you who have um, Gboard installed or maybe the Swift key, this won't work on that. And once that is switched on, go back to your Samsung keyboard and go ahead and try it out. Make sure to have your volume high in your volume control. So you need to have this spanner icon here to the full volume or at least halfway in order to hear that keyboard clicks. So this gives you a smooth tactile typing sound similar to the iOS system. You can customize the keyboard feedback that feels satisfying. It adds a premium feel to everyday texting. It works across apps and messaging platforms. And that's it, seven hidden Samsung Galaxy tricks that make your phone more powerful, smarter and stylish than ever. Which one of these did you like the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. I personally love the shake to lock feature. It feels straight out of a spy gadget. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Let's hit that goal of 500 likes to support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.